Amen. Did that work? No, 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 no. I, I, I need the wrong person. Let me see. I need the wrong person. Okay, here we go. Boom. Something like that. Okay, anyway, so that's working. And uh, lift your hand if we don't have the feedback anymore, right? All right, there we go. So listen, Pastor Jerome Bell with you all live and a um, few technical difficulties, but we just wanted to get together. Welcome to the fellowship live, uh, the fellowship DNV. We give God praise. We are so grateful um, to have on with us uh, Sister Tammy Padilla. We have Ginger on sax. We have First Lady Tanita Bell. And uh, we just wanted to catch up and touch bases. We'll come back together again on another time. But um, I just wanted to touch bases, get a few updates and um, testimonies in about the goodness of the Lord and the things that God has been doing with you, for you, through you. And uh, then I just want to share just a small piece of word, amen, to encourage all of us and to those that are watching and, and, and listening, um, even get in a Ginger on Sax selection. Sister Ginger, will we be able to do that? We, we got that part together? Yes, we got that part together. Amen, amen, amen. So we are good. Let us start then. Let us start with a word of prayer. I'm going to ask our first lady, Lady Bell, if she would give us a uh, an opening prayer. Lady Bell, if you would uh, please come on and, and uh, unmute and give us a word of prayer. Unmute. Uh-oh, do I have to unmute her? Come on, thing. I need, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Okay. All right. Lady Bell is, is, is praying. Father God, we come to you today saying thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for a day that we have never seen before and may never see again, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for forgiving us of our sins, Lord God, sins known and unknown, Lord God. Lord, I ask that you stop through the airways, Lord God, and, and breathe fresh air into our lungs, Lord God, and, and please help us to hear a word, Lord God, a word that may touch our hearts and souls, Lord God, that some that have are not saved may come to you uh, wanting to be saved, Lord God, from a word that they have heard, a song that they have heard on today, Father God. Lord, I ask that you stop through all the homes on today, Lord God, and just meet our every needs, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for all the blessings, Lord God, new blessings, Lord God, and old blessings, blessings that we have never even thank you for on today, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for this fresh word on today, Lord God. Please let it be food for the nourishments of our bodies, Father God. Lord, we ask that you bless the man of the hour on today, Lord God, Reverend Dr. Jerome Allen Bell, Lord God. Lord, you know all that he stand in need of, Lord God, and we trust in your every word, Lord God, for all that you have put in him, all that you have done for him, and all that you continue to do, Lord God. Lord, we ask that you bless those and comfort those who mourn on today, Lord God, for one reason or another, Lord God. Lord, we trust in and believe in you, Lord God, for all that you have done and continue to do for us, Lord God. Lord, we know we have been undeserving of some of, ble some of the blessings, Lord God, but Lord, we just thank you anyhow for touching us yet again, Lord God. Lord, we ask that you touch every ministry represented here on today, Father God. Lord, we just know that it's already done, Lord God, whatever we are standing in need of on today, Lord God. We know that it's already done, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for loving us and keeping us, Lord God. Lord, we know that you don't like some of us, but you love us all, Lord God. And we thank you for giving us chance after chance, Lord God, even when we don't deserve it, Lord God. Lord, we ask that you just go through this whole United States of America, Lord God, and move through the White House on today, Lord God, the Congress building, Lord God. Touch every heart, every mind, every soul, Lord God, that they come to you saying, thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done for us, Lord God. Lord, we just thank you. A thousand times we couldn't thank you enough, Lord God. And for that, we say thank you thank and amen you. and amen. And it's already done. It's already done. Amen. Amen. My God, my God, we have been set up greatly with prayer. And we certainly are grateful, uh, Lady Bell, for that prayer. You know, um, it's a trying time, difficult time, and everybody, one thing God has done, and he's just leveled the playing field. We're all experiencing uh, this pandemic, but I'm holding on to this word of hope 
And uh, I had some other things I kind of wanted to talk about, but the Lord keeps bringing me back to um, that word of hope. Uh, I want to uh, unmute uh, Sister Tammy and uh, let me get Sister Tammy. You can you unmute it there? Did it happen yet? Unmute yourself, Sister Tammy Padilla. I am unmuted. Hallelujah! To <laughs> Praise. <laughs> you know, God. I'm not the button pusher. I'm I'm used to you know an engineer or somebody. You know, I come in as the talent, and somebody's yeah. at the board and doing all of that. But I'm grateful. Um, for this opportunity we're learning new ways and new things and just how to get it done because we yes want to absolutely get it done. sister tammy as you know even considering hope and um and we know we are grateful for the times that you have shared with us in song um once i, re I remember uh might have been one of our last live fellowships we were at the shining star and you uh, actually played and so um, I had forgotten that, but a lot of people found out that they yes, out. he plays and a uh, beautiful uh, uh, keyboardist. And um, so, so much is going on with you. You've recently been doing a, a, uh, a show, a, what is that, YouTube live or whatever. It's, it's an awesome thing. Thanks. Let's talk Thank about you. him, I think is, is the name yeah. of it. So let's, you know, just give me, you know, a little bit of uh, what's been going on with you and how hope is working for you as you press forward through this difficult time? Well, first of all, I give God all the glory, all the honor and praise and for every opportunity that he is presenting. And so I can't thank him enough for that. Yeah. It has been an interesting um, last 24 months uh, that we have gone through and I have just been able to um, continue to do what I was doing because I was already, uh, before I started Let's Talk About Him, I was every Thursday on Facebook, I was on there uh, encouraging people in the word because that's my heart. I just want people to know that God is real yes. and no matter what they're going through, he is there to pull them through, sit with them as they're going through and that they're not alone because people think, oh, this is only happening to me, but it's yeah. not. And so- I was on there encouraging them using my devotional, I Live For You, Lord, that I wrote in 2018. Yes. And so as time went on, I was like, you know, I want to start doing interviews. I want to bring people in to tell their testimony and, and share with people to say, I've been through and look at me, I made it. Yeah. And that's what happened. I started bringing people in. Um, our girl, Kendall King, was my very first. A uh, person to say, you know, yes, I'll do it. You know, I asked her and she said, I I'll do it. And um, it's been rolling ever since. But, you know, there have been some challenges along the way. Yes. You know, I was sick earlier um, in June mm -hmm. with pneumonia um, with a temperature that's very unheard of, 111. Oh, my. And I thank God that I'm here yeah. to. Uh, tell of his goodness because I yeah. didn't realize the severity of my situation. Yeah. But the nurse made it very clear when I was leaving the hospital. She was like, why are you still alive? And she had a yeah. very strong accent. And I said to her, because God has a plan for me, you Amen. know, and Amen. she looked at me, she was like, you don't get it. And she's, you know, looked at the board and she was showing me, you know, my, my temperature was 111. And she's like, your organs were shutting down. You, yeah. you, you were leaving here. And I was yeah. just like, oh. <laughs> I was yeah. like, God is amazing. Cause He's I didn't amazing. even know that I was there. I didn't know. Yeah. But, yeah. and you talk about, uh, should have been dead and gone, but the Lord. Should have been dead, but can't nobody God. tell it like I can tell it. Right. And those are the testimonies that people need to hear, you know, cause a lot of people are facing things and going through things and, and many times, you know, we always feel like we're the only one and you find oh, wow. out that you're not, you know, the scripture says they were overcome by the blood of the lamb, but also by the words of their testimony. testimony. And yeah. sometimes I like to, I like to, um, like to, to, to help that passage, if you will, and, and uh, show it as two different groups of people mm -hmm. that they, these people over here uh, were overcome by the blood and the words of their, the other group, those who testify. Because those who testify help these who might need to hear a testimony that will increase their hope. And so I'm just grateful, you know, to hear that she's not just singing. She's not just playing. She's an author. She's doing this show. She's inspiring. So many things. She's not looking like what she's been through. 
Wow. Praise God. And God is doing this. He we are blessed. Man. We are blessed. We are blessed. And we are blessed by your testimony. We are blessed by your presence and uh, and blessed by your devotional. We actually have two of them in our house. Oh, so thank we you. Are, we are absolutely um, blessed and we give God praise for all that he's doing. Um, let me move. Let me move to uh, Sister Ginger. Because, you know, when this pandemic first hit, Sister Ginger on Sachs, who has ministered with us many times, um, um, she jumped in and found a way. She was one of the first face mask makers. <laughs> oh, wow. she, she jumped in with entrepreneurship and began to make masks. That mm. we all need. And, I, and I, I know we ordered some. We got some ginger mask and, you know, other people we tried to help and support as many as, many as we could. Um, but we're grateful for your presence. Before you give us just a little bit of song, because we want to get this word in uh, before our time ends. And and let me just say, some some are saying, some are saying, um, uh, you know, I got all kinds of producers coming through my little my phone here. But uh, we'll we'll come back. We don't believe that this is the last one. But we thank God for this testing and the things that we have learned, so that we can come back. Um, but but uh, they're saying. Um, why so short? Let's go longer. Let's go longer. It's like it's good already. It's good already. And we're halfway through already, too. So, <laughs> we don't, you know, because I think sometime when we just give a good impactful time that we can encourage people to come back. And that's what we've also done when we have done fellowship services. And we thank God for uh, Pastor Bishop Jeremiah Murphy and uh, so many of the other churches that have allowed us to hold fellowship services. We, we, they're not long at all. We get together, we do it, we give it a benediction that you would be encouraged, inspired, and motivated as you go, as you go through, you know, um, you know, because many times healing comes and it's a scriptural, as they went, they were healed, you know. So sometimes you got to go ahead, get, pick up what you need, hear that word, and then as you go, you will feel the dimensions and the progress of your healing, you know. And so uh, we just give God praise. I'm excited. Sister Ginger, welcome aboard. Are you all tuned up and ready to give us a selection and, yes, and a piece of testimony? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Hallelujah. And she is still making masks. You can go yeah, and yeah, yeah. inbox me at <laughs> Ginger on Sax. I will get you your mask done. Trust. God all bless right. me with the mask making so that I could take care of some bills in the midst of this pandemic. Hallelujah. Thank you Amen. for the sewing skills. Amen. Amen. Look, I just want to share with you. Um, you know, this pandemic, um, one of the things that I want to say to people from a health perspective is you either have to be vigilant or you yeah. have to have an advocate that will be vigilant for you because during the pandemic, I, well, I'm a lupus survivor and one Amen. of my challenges is respiratory. And I had an all out asthma attack. I was just, you know, respiratory challenge. The doctor sent me to the hospital. They would not treat me because they didn't want the spray from the nebulizer machine because it sprays droplets and they were scared that somebody might get sick, et cetera, et cetera. They felt like I was stable while I couldn't breathe. Mm. Um, and so what I had to do was get my family involved because I was too sick to deal with it and let them call and call and call and call and call until I could get some help. And so I'm just saying, don't let the doctors not help you when you're in distress and sit around and die make the phone calls, stay in their faces, be vigilant, scream until you have to tell you can't scream anymore to get the help that you need because everybody doesn't have COVID that's sick, but they need some help. Amen. So if you see your family member in distress, don't give up on that process. Just get on the phone, like I said, and get in their faces until they get sick of hearing from you. And so I just want to tell you, Pastor Bell, I've had some medical struggles in the midst of all of this and been fighting with some doctors in the midst of all of this. But, you know, I don't worry about the devil when it comes to health because God has got me up once. So I know he'll get me up twice. And so the song that I want to share with you yeah. all today is you brought me. He brought me all right. a mighty long way. And if, if you're right. on here looking or if you're listening, he done brought you a mighty long way, too, because it's been a whole year of yeah. this cray cray and we aren't finished yet and so i just want to tell you just be stay in prayer wash your hands they tell you wash your hands social distance keep your mask on but most of all pray amen pray stay amen. prayed up amen be amen. wise so all right bring it on bring it on me as i minister 
he brought me a mighty long way. Hallelujah. Well, one of our folks on the uh, conference call line who's got my phone number sends a text. This is good. This is good. This is good. Okay. All right. So this is good. So let us. <laughs> and Pastor Bell, once again, thank you for your love and your support. First Lady Tanita, you know, I love you. Thank you. I appreciate you all so much. And God ain't done with what we're doing yet. Amen. 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 Bring it on. Bring it on.
Ginger on sax, everybody. Ginger on sax, everybody. Brought me from a mighty long way. Amen. We give God praise. Thank God for all of you. Listen real quick as time is winding up. You know what I just realized, too? It's just that with all of you, from Ginger, Tammy, uh, Lady Bell, uh, all of us, all of us, many certainly even on the conference call line, God has just been a keeper. God has just been a keeper. Uh, God has, has, has healed. He has delivered. He is giving yet another chance, another opportunity. And even as the clock continues to tick, amen, I think a lot of this, because when we keep hope, hope, I can't let go of hope. I wanted to talk about something else, but on the last, God has favored us. We've been on prayer line and prayer calls and Zooms and other things. And the Lord has favored us to be able to be on ministries as, as from, from Africa to the Caribbean, to uh, North Carolina, to Atlanta, to ministry in Colorado, my New Jersey friends, and just all over the place. So we've been busy and uh, all from sitting literally right here. But if I could just share just, just a simple word of hope. I'll keep my other stuff for another time because but God just wants us to keep hope alive. You know, we know the scripture of faith, uh, Hebrews 11, and now faith is the substance of things hoped for, hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, but it's the substance of things hoped for. Hope is a very important ingredient in our faith. And so because of that ingredient of hope, if we keep hoping, I believe that, you know, hope takes us to, you know, we, there's some things that are possible and possible goes to probable when you keep hope alive. And then if you just keep on hoping that which was probable goes to actual and actual happens because you kept hoping. And then that thing that went from possible to probable can actually happen when you give God praise and thank him for what he has done and keep hope alive. Don't stop hoping. Amen. You know, I went through a thing earlier and you all know my brother, familiar with the passing of my dear God brother, the beloved um, uh, Daniel Harrison. And oh my God, oh my God, it, 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 it shook our world and we're still processing that. But that very morning, uh, the word hope uh, was just going on and on in my spirit. And I'm telling you, that it also took me to the scripture that says, but even then, we who mourn, we don't mourn as those who are without hope. When we keep hope alive, it will get us through and get us to what we've got to get through and what we've got to get to. So I'm just thanking God for his very peace. I'm thanking God for his joy. I'm certainly thanking God for his strength. And uh, we wanted to include these on the uh, telephone conference call line for those that don't have the savvy social media aspect of Facebook and Instagram and all this other gadgetry. And, um, and I'm, just, I'm just grateful that a few of them have been able to text in that they have enjoyed this. And uh, it's a little different, but we're gonna fine tune this thing and we're gonna come back and we're gonna make it bigger, better, stronger. And um, looking forward to Sister Tammy, wanna say, get back to you looking forward to um your upcoming can i unmute is that you is that me or is that you? okay there we go that you would um tell us when is it that you do your your, your live shows what day and when is that every thursday at eight o'clock i am on facebook on the blessed touch llc page as well as on youtube which is my blessed touch llc uh, youtube page all so. right. All right. All right. Y'all look up Sister Tammy Padilla. And Padilla is P-A-D-I-L-L-A. Correct. That, however you say it, that's how you spell it. And, Padilla uh, Padilla. Okay. <laughs> All right. And Sister Ginger, uh, we can find you also on Facebook, Instagram. Go ahead. Unmute yourself there. Everything Ginger on Sax. Every, all social media at Ginger on Sax. All right. And, and Lady Bell, she's Anita Bell on Facebook. And you're on Instagram. Uh, Lady Bell is also there. She's, you know, I, she probably don't want to touch nothing. She don't want to mess it up. <laughs> Be real. And of course, and I am right here. We give God praise. You know, when somebody says they're trying to find you, y'all have heard those stories. They say, I've been trying to reach you. Trying. I was like, man, you ain't been trying to reach me because uh, Jerome Allen Bell, everything. It's simple as that. Facebook, Instagram, MySpace. Uh, okay. Okay, so you ain't trying to, Jerome Allen Bell right here, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, 
As a matter of fact, um, okay, thank you for that. PayPal is, you never say, you hey, you know, I don't. I never say uh, PayPal and Cash App. And I thank God for my producers that are texting. Um, uh, <laughs> but so, and, and quite, as a matter of fact, PayPal and Instagram are also both Jerome Allen Bell. So I appreciate your gifts and your opportunity. But as Paul said, it's not that I have need, but that you would establish an account. So it's an opportunity for you to sow. I don't want to turn down your opportunity for you to sow. And so if you want to sow, it is Cash App, Jerome Allen Bell, PayPal, Jerome Allen Bell. Listen, Brother Jimmy Russell was trying to join us, but he's late. So we'll come back and we'll do it again. Uh, but we love each and every one of you. Thank you all for your time. We're going to replay this recording that we did uh, on uh, Zoom. We're going to replay it so it will be available on um, Facebook and then you all can spread it around. Amen. 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 All right. God, we thank you again. We bless your name. We give you all praise, glory, and honor for it all belongs to you. Help us, God. We need you like never before. Yes. Uh, be with us. Touch your heart. Touch the hearts of your people, oh God. Make provision. Thank you for continuing to heal, to deliver, to set free in Jesus' mighty, precious, inexhaustible, favorable, powerful name. Hallelujah. I feel something ready to smile yeah. again. Amen. Thank you all here. I love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. And nothing you can do about it. We're going to get together again. Hallelujah. Love you all.